Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my Mixed Media channel. Today we're doing a flip through of the first half of my Large Dilutions journal. So the cover is all covered with printables from Little Raven Ink, which I absolutely adore. Um, it was just so easy to do and lots of fun to do and it just makes me happy every time I reach for this journal. So this is the first page in my journal. It's actually one of the most recent pages I've done. I tend to leave the first page of my journal for a while. It's usually halfway when I finish the journal or near the end. Once I've sort of been inspired in this journal, I come back and do it. And I really like how this page came together with just some watercolours in the background, a print from um, Adele Toomey, um, Inky Quill, and some of the Dina Wakely collage papers over the top. It's nice and bright and happy and it's basically spill and write and paint and colour and stamp and it's all the stuff that I do inside this journal. So when I started off this journal I decided that it was going to be my paper cutting journal. Um, so the first section of my journal has got lots and lots of paper cuts in it which is this sort of lace cut effect. I love doing this in the um, Dilutions journal because the paper is thick but it's easy to cut so you can get beautiful fine cuts in it. And come up with something really fun. Uh, as I've gone on in the journal I've stopped doing that as much. This is one of the biggest projects I've done in a long time and it's one that I had a really strong um, idea about and the idea actually came to fruition which doesn't usually happen usually I go off on a tangent so it was to create this sort of rainbow effect going through the page and it was all to do with this rainbow song that my um, toddler daughter was singing which is from the ABC kids song and it was like a little earworm stuck on my head there is a video up on my YouTube channel um, showing this process in detail but basically it just goes through and spells out the lyrics of the song I had a slight issue when I was cutting this because I forgot red went at the top of the rainbow so I actually cut the orange page first and realized instead of having to go up the rainbow I had to go down which is why my rainbow's lower down on the page than I expected I was sort of expecting it to be up here but that gave me a space to add the trees in the background so you can see as you go through each layer um, adds on to the next and I quite like how the silhouette works in the book as well so you've got the colours coming through from the next page to do the next colour. It did get a little bit sticky at the edge. Because I needed to leave a border around the edge, I put some washi across the edges and it's left some of the res residue so it does stick together somewhat. So when I get to the end, and you've got the violet page and it, all the colours of the rainbow. So I was really proud of that project, how it all came together. I also decided that this is going to be sort of a paper cutting book and a collage book. So I've done lots of sort of odd collages in here and these again are some of my favourites. All inspired by the work of a collage artist called Tisha Moore. Um, D, uh, Diane Reevely does similar collages but Tisha Moore has been doing this for a good 30 years and she's one of the first people who really inspired me to collage. Again this is another one of my paper cuts. So this is experimenting with doing quotes on it. I really love how this came up. <clears throat> Shine bright, why look at the stars when you can be one? And this is all for a Dilutions challenge. The challenge was to use grey, yellow and stars. So I, this is what I came up with. Again another paper cut and this was a challenge for myself to use as much washi as I, I could. I have some washies, certainly not as many as others, however I have been adding dreadfully to my collection, but I decided I'd actually crack into the stash and do lots and lots of washi strips in the background. I also did a transfer of the poem She Walks in Beauty Like a Night onto some contact paper to lay over the top, so I've got that poem there, and then I've got my Night Beauty here, and it says Shine Bright and Be True. And one of the things I love about the paper cutting is that you can get different effects depending on which page you've got it on. This is my celebration of the 100 day project which I completed from 
April, I think, through to July or August, so it took a while, and that was to create night journal page each day, which I actually completed. So on the page here, I've just um, done screenshots of my Instagram feed of all the pages I created over the 100 days, stuck them into my journal, did some journaling about how I felt about the whole process, again did the paper cut for the, the title, and um, continued because 100 pages takes up a little while in your journal. So look what you can do, achieve when you put your mind to it. I was really proud that I was able to commit myself to be able to do 100 pages. These two pages, again, are inspired by Tisha Moore, and this one's inspired by a tutorial on YouTube by Little Raven Inc. Again, both these um, collages are on my YouTube channel, so check those out. Um, there'll be a link in the video. Um, I just love these little scrap monsters. They just really brighten up my day. And I just love the colour. Um, there's lots and lots of colour in this journal, which makes me happy every time I pick it up. It's another paper cut I did. And what I really liked about this was when I was painting it black, I wanted to paint the back of it black as well. So I flipped it onto this page and painted it black. And I got a reverse stencil of it. Now, in the end, I decided that I was going to... This page is all about um, everyone has a secret that could break your heart. What is yours? And I wrote my secret in the background, but I didn't want it to be readable, so I chose to glue this paper cut page down so you couldn't flip it. So I ended up with my imprint here, and I decided to do another page, collage page, but I like how it all works together. Again, another paper cut, which didn't quite work as successfully as I wanted it to so I chose to glue it down I'm quite glad I did. In the background I've got one of my use it up pages to get that texture of all the extra paint and this is just a little page. Creativity is allowing yourself to make mistakes knowing, art is knowing which mistakes to keep um, which is a good reminder to myself because I was having troubles with this page and it was driving me nuts and it was just that quote really summed up the struggles I had with this page. These two pages were um, playing with a resist pad that I made up using a um, polymer varnish. And I've got a, a, a video on that as well. And just um, with the resists in the background. And these are two finished pages I ended up with. Another double spread collage and I was experimenting a lot with doing um, reduction um, painting so where you've done your collage in the background and then you reduce the background by painting it in black and then I go back in with the stencil just to bring some of it back and also playing with some mic making which I really love doing too just chucking in some of the Tim Holtz art dolls just for a little bit of interest this page was um, playing around with a technique that I did in card making years and years and years ago. It worked quite well, but it's a little bit tight in here because I wasn't very good at measuring. I was just playing with the technique and didn't measure very well. So it is interactive. It's probably going, not going to work here because I've got my pens here. So I'm going to turn around sideways. Hopefully you can still see. And basically what happens is it slides out. And when you slide the image out, you get the coloured page. So it's sort of magic. It goes from being a black image. Oops. And it, you can see it's tight. Ah. Go in. Right. You get the idea. It goes from the black image to the coloured image. I'm going to pull that out and I'll fix it up later. Okay, this is another collage playing with some texture paste, which I love doing, and some mic making in the background. And these beautiful collage faces from Dina Wakely. There's lots and lots of these faces in this journal because they're just... If I'm feeling a little bit stuck or I've got a background that's busy and I want something to put over the top, I tend to go to these because I just... I love the loose image of them and they really appeal to me. And you can do so much with them. Again, this was another page and I was really struggling with it. 
and I just decided so sometimes it's hard work to create I was just sitting there and I was trying to do something on this page and it wasn't working so I decided to do this instead I quite like how it came up one of the things I was really struggling with is in the collage um, sheets there's the white images as well as the black images and while I love the idea in theory of the white images I'm I have really struggled with using them I think part of the problem is I really don't like that hazy white look that the um, tissue papers can give when you glue them down and I just can't get them translucent enough for just the white line on the page so this is what I ended up with I glued it down I still had that hazy look so that I then glazed over the top with some acrylic paints this page doesn't feel finished to me but I've come back to it a few times and I've got complete block on this page so hopefully one day I'll get more inspiration for it but this is it at, at the moment this page these both these pages were um, gel prints that I did into my book I love um, the Ranger gel, gel plate it fits perfectly into this book um, so you can get some great gel prints into your book and I decided to collage over this one which I really like how sort of it worked out with the eyes in the, the stencils on this page I chose to do a gel gel medium transfer over the top and I was experimenting with actually painting the image first and then transferring it and it worked really really well so this is a, a collage printable from James Bru James Luke Burke creative and um, so I printed that out and glued it down I wish I hadn't put the black border around it um, but it is what it is and it does stand out from the page this is another paper cut I did in the page and again I've got a YouTube uh, video on this one so I, it sort of works out like this and again this was using it was the leftover prints from this gel print that was on this page and that's where this stencil comes from as well so it was using up the gel print pages and coming up with something and this page is just a stencil girl stencil through texture paste but I really like how it came up this is one of my um, art whimsy dolls which I've been on a bit of a kick with at the moment I've been making 3d art whimsy dolls but I decided I want to have one in my journal as well so I end up putting this one in my journal with she is beautiful and then I had this page sitting here empty for so, uh, a while and I decided just to put a quote on it so I'm brave fearless bold and strong because she is um, it must be the red hair I think coming to the end of what I've been doing this journal and it started to become more of a collage journal again so doing lots of double spreads so this one was just using up the background and putting down lots of paint I found this lovely picture from a flow magazine that I um, was gifted and don't think about making art just get it done let everyone else decide if it's good or bad whether they love it or hate it while they're deciding make more art and I like having quotes like that in my journal so when I look back at it it just reminds me why I do this this is a page I did for the scrap FX design team and up on the scrap FX, scrap FX YouTube channel you will see the process video for this and I was playing around with their brand new stencils which I love it's got this random dot stencil in the background and as I was doing it it really reminded me it's sort of just this petally shape here and as I was doing it it reminded me of a flower petal so I sort of created an abstract flower from it you can sort of see over here I also experimented with a Dina Wakely glazing medium which I have had for a while but I haven't really used and I love the fact that you still get the thickness of a heavy body but you get the translucency it doesn't lose its magic of the color of the paint this is a um, Jane Davenport one of her um, the pa um, palette papers that she's got so it's got a slightly waxy surface you can paint over it but just be aware if you overwork it it does start to peel off a little bit so you do need to be a little bit gentle with it this page is inspired by a page I saw a video I saw on Simon Says Stamps where someone had used one of Dina Wakeley's collage papers and journaled in the hair and I really loved how it turned out so this is my take on that video 
I even include a doodly border, which I don't tend to put borders in my, uh, my artwork or my art journal. So just doing the printing in the background, using the scribble sticks, journaling in the hair, um, using up some of my thickers because they've been sitting there for ages, and leave a little sparkle wherever you go, cultivate your kindness and be you bravely. So it's sort of my new year page, what I want to do. This is the halfway point in this journal and this is one of the favourite pages I've ever done and it's directly inspired by a piece by Adele Toomey um, from Inky Quill. She did this beautiful piece um, as one of her art prints for her Patreon people and there was two things that really struck me about it. First of all was the colour combination, the blue, the pink and the gold. The second thing that really struck me about it was the really bold collage words or text that's in the background. Text really draws my eye and I tend to put it in all my collage pieces. So if I see it, that, that tends to really interest me in the piece. The final thing that really drew me to it was the, the hair, the fact that it was sort of all random, it was out of the edge and um, had that collage through it. So I really wanted to play with the techniques that I saw there. So this is my take on what she did. Um, so there is a video, one of my latest videos is this video. Um, so feel free to check it out. Um, I used the Jane Davenport face stencils, which again, I've had in my stash for a while and haven't really used. And I don't know why, because it was just perfect and so easy to use. And doing this hair was um, really easy and I do apologize for the swear word there um, one of the stencils I have has one in and I did this whole page not thinking about it tearing up the words and it was only when it was finished I realized that that was still so visible so I will do something with that but I really love how this went together and the quote is um, she was uh, full of life Wonderfully chaotic, uh, perfectly put together mess, which I really love because her hair is all messy, she's all, but she's perfectly put together and she comes out of chaos. Thank you so much for watching this really quick flip through of my journal so far. I'm looking forward to finishing the next half of this journal um, and I will have another flip through of my Use It Up journal coming shortly because I've got halfway in this journal as well. So that will be coming soon. Until next time, happy creating. Bye for now.